You've got the printer assembled, but what's left before the first print? Let's go over a couple things. Firstly, we need to set the Z-axis limit switch height, so the position of the nozzle is good when it zeroes out. I always start by adjusting the bed level down in an even fashion at all four corners. This will put more tension in the springs, making for a more stable build platform. Be careful, because if you adjust it too far down, it will scrape the Y-axis stepper motor at the rear of the machine. With the bed lowered, I'll manually move the gantry to the zero position, which is the bottom left of the build plate. Rest the nozzle on the build plate and slide the Z-axis limit switch up until it triggers. You can hear the click and secure it with the screws there. Now power on the printer and use the auto home function to check it out. If the nozzle is within about 1 32nd of an inch or a millimeter of the build plate, this part is done. If not, adjust the limit switch down so the nozzle zero is closer to the build plate. Next, you'll need a standard piece of printer paper to use as a feeler gauge. Auto home the printer and slide the piece of paper under the nozzle. Swipe it back and forth and adjust the bed level up or down depending on if there is too much or no resistance. The goal is to just barely feel the paper hitting the nozzle. Then use the move function to go to the next corner. Adjust the nozzle up a couple millimeters to clear the bed clip and make sure it won't drag. Move it all the way over, then drop it back down. Repeat this same process for feeling the nozzle height here and then at the remaining two corners. It may take a few go-arounds to dial it in perfect. Quick tech tip, if you find you're running out of adjustment on the right side of the print bed, loosen these screws and force the beam downward, then retighten them. You can also make sure there isn't too much tension on the Z-axis rollers causing excessive resistances at lowers. These tips can help the nozzle sit lower on the right side so we can keep higher spring tension over there. After the bed level is good, we can load the filament. Unpackage the filament you want to start out with and get a fresh cut end ready to go into the printer. We include a small coil of 200 grams of white PLA to get you started, and we also offer one kilogram spools of PLA plus filament in several colors. From the main menu, select settings, temperature, then set the nozzle to a normal extrusion temperature, typically between 200 Celsius to 215 Celsius, depending on your filament being loaded. With the nozzle heated, take the tension off the filament drive gear with one hand and feed the filament into the extruder, past the drive gear, through the tube, and down into the nozzle with the other hand. Once the filament gets to the nozzle, you will feel some resistance and the filament should start extruding out of the nozzle. Once it's coming out in a steady stream in color, loading is complete. The nozzle heater can now be turned off by returning it back to zero degrees. It's a good practice to never leave the nozzle fully heated for long periods of time when the filament is stationary because it can lead to filament jams. Tension on the filament drive roller is set at the factory, but if it needs to be adjusted, it is done with the screw at the back side of the extruder drive assembly. Turning it clockwise will increase the tension and counterclockwise will decrease the tension. Too little tension will result in the drive gear grinding away the filament without pushing it. Too much will cause the stepper to jam and not feed smoothly. Finally, we're ready to print a test part. The included micro SD card comes preloaded with an Eastwood logo print file to make sure everything is working well. It takes about an hour to print. Let's get it started. I've loaded the file and now we'll heat the print bed, then the nozzle to temperature automatically. Note that you cannot remove the micro SD card or the print will cancel. The beginning of the print is the most important part to watch because the first layer sets the foundation for the rest of the print, so we'll come back when it's started. The print is starting and the first thing it will do is zero itself out and then run a pre-extrusion to prep the nozzle. Once that's done, this file has a skirt programmed in so it will do a small oval skirt around where the actual part is going to print. This is the ideal time to make sure the nozzle height is perfect. I like to get level with the print bed and watch as the filament lays onto the bed. Too high and it won't stick enough or at all. Too low and it will scrape the build plate, causing the nozzle to jam and creating excessive back pressure in the extruder. And it may be challenging to separate the part from the build plate when finished. To adjust the nozzle on the fly, select Tune. Scroll down, select the Z offset option to adjust the nozzle distance up or down in millimeters. Small adjustments go a long way here. Start with 0.05 millimeter increments and watch in real time as the nozzle raises and lowers. Once set good, you can click it to lock it in and return to the print in progress screen. I like to lightly push the filament to make sure it's sticking. With a good first layer, we're set. I'll see you when it finishes. Look at that. Our first print came out great. This machine is ready to print some more parts. If you want to learn more about this machine and the user interface menus, check out our next video exploring that.